When it comes to Android app development, Java will probably be the first programming language to spring to your mind. However, Kotlin is expected by many to kill Java. So, is it true? Let's find out. You're on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. So Kotlin is an open source, general purpose programming language. Its key benefits include conciseness, as it allows to solve the same problem by writing less code. Interoperability, as it's 100% compatible with the ecosystem of Java frameworks, tools, and libraries. Vibrant community, as it has a strong and supportive community of programmers. And safety, as it eliminates a significant number of coding errors. However, Kotlin has its drawbacks, namely, slow compilation, as Java is 17% faster than Kotlin for compiling clean builds, lack of experienced developers, because Kotlin is only gaining popularity, and steep learning curve, so it will take your team some time to learn Kotlin up front. One of the most popular apps that are built using Kotlin is Trello. Does your team use it for workflow organization? Drop a comment. For Android development, we use Java 7 as default, while Java 8 version has been supported natively since Android SDK 26. Keep this in mind. Java is an object-oriented, multi-platform programming language that is easy to learn, as it has an understandable syntax, platform independent, as the compiler allows to convert Java source code to bit code, which is an intermediate language. Java has a large community, so there are a lot of resources available online. It has an abundant API that can be used to build integrations between different applications and make them communicate with each other. And secure, as Java has a range of built-in security features. Yet among Java limitations, we define verbosity, as Java requires more lines of code, performance, as it's considerably slower than other languages, and costs, as Java applications need more resources and have high processing requirements. By the way, we highly recommend you check out the article where we compare Java versus .NET. Find the link in the description. Now let's take a closer look at the points that differentiate Kotlin and Java. The first point is null safety. Java allows users to attribute a null value to any variable, leading to development errors. In contrast, the Kotlin language has built-in null safety. Data classes is the second point. As a rule, Java developers are required to define constructors, getter and setter methods, and variables to store the data. Java record is not supported in the Java version used for Android development. Kotlin, on the contrary, makes the creation of classes a lot easier. Third, extension functions. Another Kotlin advantage over Java is the ability to extend the functionality of classes. Smartcasts is the next point. In Java, the engineers are required to check the type of variable per the operation to cast an object. Kotlin, on the contrary, provides a smartcast feature that handles the casting checks. The fourth type is type inference. Java makes it mandatory to specify the type of each variable explicitly. In Kotlin, it's quite the opposite. Coroutine support is the fifth difference to mention. Similar to Java, Kotlin also offers developers the ability to create multiple threats. However, it can also boast a more efficient way to solve this issue that is coroutines. The next point is checked exceptions. Java provides support for checked exceptions. Kotlin, on the other hand, doesn't have checked exceptions. Next, primitive types. There are eight different data types in Java. However, when developers initiate a variable of primitive type in Kotlin, it is considered an object. The next point is wildcard types. Unlike Java, Kotlin has no wildcards. Then we need to mention implicit widening conversions. Kotlin doesn't provide support for implicit widening conversions. Contrary to this, Java supports implicit conversions. And finally, the last point is code conciseness. So, Kotlin requires fewer lines of code than Java to perform the same operations necessary. 
Google's claim that Kotlin is the preferred language for Android development serves as an absolute proof that the language has undeniably a bright future and perspectives ahead. So will Kotlin fully replace Java for Android development or not? Share in the comments. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.